certain reporters appointed by the High Commission. They do the reports, and according to this report, they accept or refuse this agreement. This is the framework, legal framework. Now, when it comes to OIC's position, I have to tell you that our group there is very active. And we proud of it. But we, being active there, we say to European countries who are member of this uh, and other Western countries who are member of this Commission, of Council, Human Rights Council, 
please let's work together. Please let's work together. We are not anti-Christian. We are not anti-Semitic. We are not anti-anybody. But we are anti-insult. We are anti-defamation. We are anti-abusing the freedom. The freedom, sir, does not mean insulting others. This is not accepted. This is <coughs> incitement to hatred. And incitement to hatred on religious basis or on, on, on racial basis is prohibited by international convention. If you say that the publishing of these cartoons is still a matter of, of, of freedom of expression, yes, it and is. then I will ask you one question. Why the same newspaper refused, the same editor who allowed these, uh, these uh, uncivilized cartoons on, on my profit, why he did not allow publishing a similar cartoon on Jesus Christ? The same newspaper. I'm against any cartoon impolite against any prophet, against any revered symbol of any religion, I have to respect that. This is part of my doctrine. But I'm asking a question when he refuses one on Jesus and accept, it, accept even solicit and provoke and make uh, a competition and then publish them. Why? Here I think we have a, another problem, not freedom problem. It's another problem. It's a matter of morality which uh, our colleagues uh, has spoke of its uh, public morality. Uh, with your permission, I, we, we are running out of time. And with Marcus' permission, I take two very brief questions, maximum one minute. 